are two approaches to monitor ICP. Using an external ICP monitoring device connected to the Philips monitor or using a direct source. When using an external monitoring device, follow the manufacturer's instructions for the setup and use. If supported, the external ICP monitor may be connected to your Philips monitor. This would make the ICP measurement available for viewing, trending and alarming. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to make the connection with the appropriate interface cable. With the interface cable connecting the ICP monitor to the Philips monitor pressure port, select the ICP label, if not already selected, for that pressure port. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to synchronize or zero the ICP monitor with the Philips monitor. Now let's look at the second approach to monitoring ICP. When monitoring ICP with the transducer directly connected to the Philips monitor, follow the manufacturer's instructions for the setup, use and care of the ICP catheter and tubing. Connect the ICP transducer to the Philips monitor pressure port and select the ICP label, if not already selected, for that pressure port. Following your institution's policy and procedure, level and zero the ICP transducer in the Philips monitor. Philips.